Hey everybody, welcome to another Let's Game It Out satisfactory reaction video. In today's video, we are going to react to Let's Game It Out's third satisfactory video. I crippled the game by building to the heavens. You guys enjoyed the last react video I did, but most importantly of all, so did my son. So do me a huge favor, hit that like button, and let's get right into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh and we are doing some Satisfactory today. Satisfactory is a game where you make efficient machines, or in our case, the dumbest machines imaginable. <laughs> we started with normal-ish looking machines that had at least some semblance of order to them. Doing things normal is like the last mm. thing on the list though. So after getting the hang of it, we took an efficient procedure and made it a little extraneous. But at least you can kind of see what's oh going boy. on here, right? It's taking raw <laughs> copper, it's turning it into copper ingots, and then it's turning it into spools of copper. Easy peasy-ish. But not not content with that, we went ahead and took it another step, and we took a rather easy process of making iron rods and iron plates and made it, um, a little bit complicated, and that's pretty much what we're gonna keep doing. Last episode, we also built the space elevator, which is this yep. hulking beast right here. Space elevator demands a sacrifice to unlock new stuff. Right now, it wants 500 modular frames and 150 motors. Those aren't so much hard to come by, so much as it's gonna take a while to- Life was so much easier back then, wasn't it? <laughs> produce them so we're gonna make the machines that will do it all for us back at home base here we also have a machine that will unlock different things as soon as we give it the right materials basically Gold we select power. one of these milestones here we unlock it via the milestone cost and then it'll unlock some select things this one's pretty interesting it'll unlock a tractor i think we can either automate or hopefully drive it around we have a machine that we're going to use that we didn't oh. use last time called the assembler which we feed it to components that it'll make the stuff for us that's going to require us to fix a couple of things though right now we have this car Cargo unit collecting both iron rods and iron plates. Yeah, I, I see a lot of people do that. I just can't. I can't get behind putting multiple items in one storage box. I can't do it. I can't do it. I know people like to do sushi lines. I hardly ever use sushi lines. I will do it later on. But at the beginning, nah, man. Like you have to do so many rods, so many plates that usually. They have their own lines. We're gonna have to separate this out so it's only feeding iron rods so we can push it through with screws to the assembler. But this disaster here starts a long way back. Let's take a quick sprint across this conveyor belt to show what a mess I've made over here. You know, I made this bed so I gotta sleep in it, but basically what happened is I have a bunch so of machines terrible. way the hell over here <laughs> making the rods and the plates, and I had them feeding all the way over <laughs> the home base where we just were because I kind of wanted everything centrally located over there. So this stuff takes a pretty massive journey. I think it takes like 15 minutes to get from start to finish because it has to go through all this nonsense <laughs> so this is the beginning of the iron plates and the iron rods it's this ore we got three piles that get fed into these three machines here they get shot out as to iron ingots here they go into these three machines here of which two of them are making plates and one is making iron rods they all get pushed into this little merger unit here all this stuff goes into this storage container which then pops out the other end here and has that horrible horrible journey in the background there this game is all about efficiency <laughs> for other people for us it's about taking <laughs> yeah. this problem and making it worse uh, oh, also we're on an alien planet ruining its ecology basically so pretty much our first task is going to be to separate out the plates and the rods and i can think of a pretty easy way to do that we're just not going to feed rods into this thing anymore for now the rods are just going to pile up here this thing is now only spitting out plates over time the rods will disappear from this conveyor belt and hey you know what let's send these thank you it's driving me nuts. Rods individually the only way I know how. Let's build an entire second conveyor belt system for them. All we gotta do is move this like that. The best part about the <laughs> conveyor belt system in this game is it really lets you just put this stuff wherever you want. I think the idea is you can make it like diverse and, and normal and stuff, but that's not really what we do. So instead we abuse what they allow us to do. One of the comments I got was that we should try and see how high this thing can go. And I can think of no better way to do that than to try it on our blessed rods here. So, like, I think if we, uh, just do a U-turn, like... <laughs> Who's commenting this? Stop encouraging this man. 
<laughs> that. Just making a nice coil of pipe here. The best part about this so far is I know it's going to look terrible. So it turns out we're a little too close to the space elevator. And when that happens, we actually can't keep building. And it turns out I can just reposition the space elevator. So if I just grab this whole thing, does it just disappear? Yep. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. Okay, so let's reposition the space elevator a little bit farther away. Look at that. We get to watch it build again. There we go. Just a little bit further away. I do that often, actually, <laughs> and my son likes to see that animation. So I often, you know, we often delete it and place it back down and just so that we can see it come down. Surely I won't get close to it again. Still working on the tallest conveyor belt ever. While I'm working on it, let's go ahead and get the assembler set up. We can have it building stuff while we continue to work on that. Okay, we'll just put our assembler down right there like that. We're going to feed it these beautiful rods. So before we send it straight into here, we're going to do something a little more awkward first. We're going to use a conveyor splitter. We're going to send the rods into the conveyor splitter here. Here they come. One of these sides will indeed split rods right here into the assembler. Meanwhile, we're going to set up a constructor over here and we're going to run one of the other splits right on over to the constructor and we're going to set this constructor to make screws and then we will connect the thing that makes screws right on over to the assembler why screws you ask here's our assembler and we're going to need to make all of these things to make rotors we need iron rods which we're already making and we're going to need screws and to make reinforced iron play we're also going to need those screws because then eventually we're going to need to make these modular frames that are also going to need reinforced iron play so it's just going to do us a world of good to have a lot of screws going on right now i have yep. rods and you never have enough of those <laughs> screws <sighs> and screws both going into the assembler and now we're going to set the assembler to make a bunch of rotors there we go things are slowly feeding into this machine the assembler's making them for us now we can watch as our beautiful rotors come out and you know actually no sense in stopping there let's set up another assembler so it can be working while we mess around with something else and instead of having the screws feed into just this one machine we're going to erase this part we're going to put down a lovely splitter here one of the screws goes over there and the other screw goes into that assembler i've also <laughs> adjusted my three constructors over here to only make plate now which you can see is filtering into this guy here and we're going to send that into the other end of this assembler and we're going to set this assembler to make reinforced plate and now we can watch the miracle of life as our beautiful reinforced plate makes its way down the conveyor belt okay brace yourself because the frame rate gets real bad i spent a few hours building this out and uh i can't tell you how high you can build something because i never got there but i can tell you that it can go at least this high it kind of eclipses what? the space elevator at this point something what? tells me you can go a lot what is that <laughs> how long did that take it's a freaking tornado <laughs> that's so perfect too like look at that it's so crazy it's so beautiful like <laughs> what <laughs> i wonder if it just naturally took its shape perfectly like that or if he like f went down looked at it and then he's like okay no a little bit to the left a little bit you know what i mean like i, I i'm actually curious the frame rate I look know, at this but it's just the frame rate gets so bad that i just can't do much to get there <laughs> i have to like look away from the <laughs> thing just to not get killed by the frame rate let me give you a quick tour of it it's to my advantage to stare straight out at the beautiful scenery because if i look straight up this how do you even happens. get up there oh, mercy hello slideshow we got to actually get these rods going somewhere it's gotta climb up one one at a time to get up that's crazy. So I have to at least try to finish this conveyor belt in some way. Just got to keep on climbing. Ah, and here we are. It's pretty beautiful up here until you turn around and decide you want to see into the heart of the beast. Oh, God, I fell. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. What? That guy's got a lot of time on his hands. What? Oh, God, my frame rate. What's happening to my guy? <laughs> yep, there he goes. There he goes. We're actually too high to be able to just build anywhere else but back down the way. Now I understand people kept saying that they used his save, I guess, to help make the game more optimized. And I guess I know why now. The developers probably didn't envision somebody doing something like this. That's for sure way we came so that means let's pull out our guy here how far can i just launch this thing down pretty far as it turns out i'll just skip ahead because this it's gonna be a lot of this it's gonna be a lot of this one frame per second stuff look at that towards the bottom you can see my handiwork that's what's eventually gonna bring the rods <laughs>
back over to us. Millions of years when it finally gets through this whole cyclone. And for maximum oh. irony, I've just run this thing in a straight path to where it's supposed to go. Now the silver lining is we have all these plates we can use to upgrade stuff instantly. Not only do we have all those reinforced plates, but we also have all of these rotors. Yeah, okay. oh my god, this thing can basically blot out the sun now. That side of the map is now totally quarantined. We're gonna have to start building over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and unlock whole power. This sure sounds exciting. <laughs> the entire time, too, he's been doing it with biomass. <laughs> Imagine doing like one ring and then having to go and gather leaves and, and wood and and turn into biomass. And then, OK, let's do another one or two rings and then let's go get some more. Oh, man. Yeah. So let's give it some cabling and some copper wire and a bunch of rotors. There we go. Launch it. Well, would you look at this? We have a vehicles tab now. And there's our tractor. Well, let's build. <laughs> I, I love how he's way more excited about the vehicles. Because to me, I hardly ever use the vehicles. I'll, I usually skip straight into the train phase. But coal. I want to get that coal up and running as quick as possible. Because you don't want to be wasting your time gathering leaves all the time, you know? The tractor. Oh, look how cute it is. I'm going to put it right here where I might not be able to get it out. There it is. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize we'd be able to see my little dude here. dum de dum de dum <laughs> Oh, good. It has a horn. Oh, yeah. Here we <laughs> beep, go. Beep. Oh, this is the life. And I'm stuck already. Maybe I can make it out right here, huh? Uh-huh. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, uh -huh, <laughs> all right. We can also locate coal now, which is what we're going to do. Tell me where the coal is. Really? No coal anywhere. Wait, oh, there's coal. 606 meters. Let's go, boy. Oh, you know, I don't have enough fuel for this. Let's back up real quick. Uh-oh. I seem to have left the gas pedal going. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's just hanging out over here. I guess it's making a home for itself i'm gonna let it have some alone time while i get some more fuel for it i'm look at that thing <laughs> and i think he's trying he's using the the belt or he wants to use the belt that's why it's coming back down right better hope he doesn't want to change the recipe or the the items on that belt you know it's gonna take it's probably gonna have to afk for a day you know before he he gets new items on the belt <laughs> Definitely gonna have to get rid of this thing at some point. I can't actually like play the game <laughs> this thing here Like everything is just chopping so bad the next thing we're gonna upgrade is to the rebar gun So let's go ahead and feed it all the things it wants. There we go and launch Let's go over here to our workshop and build the gun. All right rebar gun come to me. Oh look at that, huh? Here we go put a piece of re- oh wow. I'm just gonna fire it on my own equipment. Why not? Yep, that's rebar All right, can't wait to use my single fire rebar shooting thingy on a creature that didn't deserve it. All right, where's the car? <laughs> Hello, car? Are you out here? Oh, there you are. Did you tire yourself out or what? Oh, geez, sorry. All right, we're nice and refueled. Let's get out of here. There we go. There's the coal. Heading straight towards it. Oh, it's just right over here? Why did I take the car for this? Whatever. Out of the way, nature. I don't care if there's a drop-off. This is the way to the coal. You tell me nope, where the coal nope, is, I... Nope, oh, no, oh, no, that's no. not good. You think mm. the vehicle's gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm sure the vehicle will be okay. <laughs> In heaven. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my... Heaven. Heaven's up. Not down, up. Stuff. I like how it shows me where my body is. Like, I don't think there's any coming back from that, but I... <laughs> it's a crate icon now, but that's funny. I guess let's go check. It's old oh, school. I'll consider it. All my stuff is just right here. Hey, yep. do you guys want to bring back the car too? Car would be nope. nice. Well, while I'm out here, sans car now, I might as well see if I can find that coal anyway. Easy, guys. Easy, fellas. Damn it. That's where the coal is over there? Well, no mm -hmm. wonder the car couldn't get over here. Is there any way over here? You know, I'm starting to think there's no Let's way over there. build a bridge. Sometimes I'm looking around and I'm like, uh-oh, am I lost? Do I have, like, a guiding star or something? Oh, yeah, I sure do. <laughs> On the plus side, the Grand Cyclone has finally started to deliver rods. Okay, so I restarted the game. That seems to have helped the frame rate a little bit. I mean, unless I look right at it, but let's just try not to do that. Before we go and build another Jeep and try to find that coal, let's start knocking out some milestones. We'll do this one just for the hell of it. It gives yeah. us conveyor... J just for the hell of it. <laughs> Okay. Air belt Mark II, uh, which is great and all. Transports up to 120 resources per minute, which is double the Mark I, which is what we're using right now. Oh, man. Is he going to try to upgrade? Uh, see, that's the problem with that tornado, is if he actually wants to use it, he's going to have to upgrade it every time. Oh, oof.
But like if we click over to tier four here, we already have logistics mark three, which will give us conveyor belt mark three, which transports up to 270 resources. Of course, we're just going to go straight to that, even though it needs like a bajillion motors. And I don't even know how to build those yet, but we'll learn. The motors, though, we do unlock. We just have to do steel production. We'll just go ahead and give logistics mark two all the things it needs and launch while we wait for the pod. to. I always thought it was funny that different things take longer for the pod to come back like it's where's it going it's going somewhere else like <laughs> you think it'd be going to the same place every time we can do another upgrade let's find the best place to put car number two down again we're still looking for for coal. Quick scan. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's over here 600 meters. That means we'll put the tractor right there. Look at that beauty. Oh, uh, don't face me that way. Uh, turn it around. Oh, uh, there we go. I've got a good feeling about this. Whee! What's this thing? Out of the way. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Come on. We'll just take the long way through the enchanted forest. How do I get up to the coal? Are you guys going to force me to come back with conveyor belts? Because I'll do it. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Ooh. Oh, ah, ah, ah. They don't seem to want me to get up there the natural way. That's fine. Let's head. Conveyor belt poles. Vertical. Just stack them up and you use it as a ladder. Base, pick up some supplies. Let's unlock another milestone. This time we're going to do steel production, which is going to unlock all kinds of good stuff, actually. And launch. Look at this new stuff I have here. Miner Mark II. Look at these crazy materials it needs. Encased industrial beam, steel pipe. And then we've got this thing under smelters called the foundry. Oh. Smelts two resources into alloy ingots. So we're going to go climb up to that coal the old-fashioned way. And then we'll see about extraction. Whoa, what the hell? What is this? Looks like a crash site. Do you have any stuff I can take? Ooh, reinforced plate. I'll take that. What are these? Are these beams? Can I have this? Ooh, some motors. I like it. What about some body parts? You got any <laughs> body parts around here? Press E to open drop pod. Let's see. This is where we find the bodies, right? Battery <laughs> broken. Ah, oh, jeez. We need to charge this thing just to open it? That's fine. I just happen to have all the materials biomass. to put a biomass burner down Bro right tip. here. Ta-da. Hey, Good. let's just give the thing a little power. There we go. And now let's... What's the problem? Oh, Jesus, are you serious? So we need something more powerful than that. Well, what if I hook up two of these things? Put a yep, second that, burner work. right there. That'll Put work. a power line right here. Connect this to that and this to that. 20 and 20, so 40 should do the trick. And now let's connect this power line to that. All right, nothing blew up. Let's see if that worked. There we go, operational again. Let's do this. Hello, what have we... Uh, a hard drive? Well, don't mind if I do. Well, we did it, boys. Close up all the resources. We're going home. I love that you can do this. I love that you can just suck up the whole factory, put it back in your pocket. All right, well, that was great. Let's yeah. go get that coal now. We'll analyze that hard drive when we get back. So we need to get up there. And if making that tornado has taught me anything, conveyor belts can get that done. There's no way, right, that I can just take a conveyor belt and just aim it straight up here. Conveyor belts is too long. Okay, we'll see about that. There we go. <laughs> totally sound, driven by physics. Let's finally take a look at this coal up here. Oh, it's like untamed country up here. Here we go. Look, it's beautiful coal, which obviously we're just going to send down a conveyor belt. And that's just going to go right here. There we go. And to power that, we're going to put a, ooh, look, a coal generator. Burns coal to generate electricity for your power grid. Has an input so feeding coal can be automated. I have a great idea. We're going to build a coal generator right behind it. So between these two things, I'm going to put a conveyor splitter right about there. I'm going to run a conveyor belt from the front of this thing into the splitter, and I'm going to have the other end of this feed right back into the machine. Put a little power line right there. Connect this guy to here. There it goes. Now here comes coal going this way. Goes into the... Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, back then. Life was so much easier. You didn't even have to figure out about the water lines and... Oh. Splitter heads right back in and powers itself. Oh. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. All right, we still got some stuff left to do, but I hope you enjoyed what I did this time nice. around. That's going to do it for this episode. Let's get it out. I will see you <laughs> next time.